years have been wasted um, around um, transiting. What do we have to do now and how, how, how fast do we have to do it? We've got to decarbonise. Simple. First step. We've got to decarbonise very quickly. Europe has to be 100% non-carbon fuel, fuel sources by 2050. We have to change our cities. We need to build them out so we use less energy to give us time to make the transition. Because if we use energy the rate we're using it, it takes it's much harder to decarbonise. We need to build mass transit so we get away from having to use aviation for short haul. Do you know that 50% of the aviation movements out of Heathrow are short haul? Manchester, Glasgow, Amsterdam. What kind of lunacy is this? You need to tap into the expertise that the engineers and the scientists have as well around the clean tech opportunities to learn more about how they can invest in the right areas. God knows we don't have enough engineers for the next 20 years. You know, we need to train clean energy engineers. Luckily, Ireland's got a head start because you've been doing renewable energy for a few years. You could export that knowledge. You know, the way you manage your grid here with a very high proportion, sometimes on a night time, 50% of your energy comes from renewable energy sources. This is, you know, there aren't many countries in the world, there's Denmark and Spain. So that, how you manage that grid and how you manage it going forward, energy storage technologies, how you build the financial products that allow those things to happen, these are learnings the world needs. This is something you can do for everyone else. So you said Ireland could become a living lab for green um, energy. Um, can you elaborate on that? You know you need stimulatory money to get out of the hole we're in financially. Okay? You know your government has said quite clearly, which is fantastic, they've echoed what the OECD has said, the Organisation for Economic Community and Development, the IEA has said, they've said green growth is the future. So you're already further ahead than most governments in the world. Now we need to figure out how to do it. Now while you're doing that at ahead of the pack, you should be thinking with an eye to how to export that knowledge export the products you develop here, export the financial schemes and so on. So in that sense, yes, you can be a living lab. I'll give you an example. In Europe, the common agriculture policy in terms of climate change is only focused on mitigation, that is reducing the amount of emissions out of cows or, or land. But actually, there's a huge sequestration agenda. How we change the way we farm to bury carbon in the soil. Soil is, is a huge portion of carbon on the planet. We can bury rather than release. See, Ireland could actually tackle that issue and then show the European Union how to convert the common agricultural policy to a carbon agricultural policy. That's an opportunity for you. We could become a model for Europe and export our model and our template for how to, how to do things right um, in transiting to a green economy model. That, that's exactly right. And also, you know, you've got, you've got this enormous advantage already, which is you've got a highly trained workforce. One of the great advantages of the reforms you made in the 1980s and the 1990s was the education system. So you already have greater levels of, of what I'd call academic literacy than other parts. So apply that. Let's use that. We need to reorient some of that to change some of the technical training into clean energy. But this is not a big deal and your government's already started doing it.